Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is a live Let Me Bore You to Sleep. So Rachel first is the first person to, yeah, first is the first person to watch. And I've got Trish Strachan, Strachan as well. So basically the point of this is, first of all, uh, I wanted to see if I could fit into this shirt that I haven't worn for a long time and uh, clearly it's a little bit of a stretch as you can see it's a little bit tight but uh, there you go that's um, only listen to this or watch this when you can safely close your eyes and I think the cam is a little bit wonky so I'm going to see if I can just Oh, made no difference, good. So Boston Chicky has just arrived. And so this is one of those live Let Me Boy to Sleeps, which is a little bit interactive, um, but should still be boring because it's me. And it's supposed to be boring, but at the same time, I realise if it's live that if you're listening to this or watching this live in America or Australia, it could be the afternoon for you. So Rachel says, I'm freezing, my heating broke, I'm waiting for someone to fix it, I hope. So when you said you're waiting, have you contacted someone or are you just <laughs> hoping for the best? hoping for the uh, the boiler fairy to, to appear. That was cheeky of me, wasn't it? That was the cheeky. So let's see. So I'm live at the moment. So this is number 61 on the uh, the list of sessions that I've done for these live, uh, well, they're not, they're not all live, but for the Let Me Boy to Sleep. So, I've been thinking about uh, what new sessions to do, but I don't want to do, I don't want to do, um, How should I word this? I don't want to do a new thing live just in case it kind of doesn't work out. And uh, Rachel says, Andrea Di Mattia says, hello, hello. Uh, Rachel says, I hope the guy doesn't turn up in a tutu. Um, you know what? It is a weird one. I had see, I've I've got a, a council home, and once a year, the council send a boiler person to come and check the boiler, and you know, uh, I don't know what's the right word. Just not fix it, but just give it an overhaul, uh, like a MOT kind of thing, but for um, boilers instead of cars. And so the man, it was a man, it's, it's only ever been men so far, but I'm sure there's, they've got females there as well. That's why I didn't want to say boiler men, but uh, is being it was a man that came around 
It's the same person that comes around every time. And she came in, did what he had to do, and then he left. And I got a letter yesterday, which was a kind of a, a, a certificate telling me that everything was okay with a boiler and it's certified for another year, you know. But it was addressed to the wrong person. It was addressed to a previous person that used to live here about seven years ago. And I've been living there for four years nearly. And I wonder if they can't get the name right. Are they, what else are they getting wrong? <laughs> it just worries me a little bit. Kareem has joined, hello. I know during these live sessions, people come, people go, and that's fine. Um, but when I have finished the session, when I've finished talking about nothing for 45 minutes or 50 minutes, uh, I'm not sure how long, but when it's done, I will then upload the video or download it from Facebook, upload it to YouTube, uh, extract the audio and put it onto my SoundCloud podcast, put it onto my Spreaker podcast, uh, upload it to my website, both the video and the MP3, so you can download them from my website for free, as well as being able to stream the video and stream the audio as well. So don't worry if you've uh, if you just caught this and you think, oh well, I do want to listen to it, but unfortunately I have to go on holiday. Well, you know, unfortunately. So you can watch it or listen to it another time. All my videos that I produce, the video videos, not the because I've got some that are Spreaker. I want to make a an audio using just the podcast or app on my phone. The audio then gets sent to my SoundCloud and if I want to it I can also get it sent to YouTube. In fact YouTube automatically gets done and it converts it into a video but it's not like a, a proper video it's just um, a picture of the SoundCloud kind of podcast thing. So I don't download those and I don't upload those to my website, but I do upload the audios. When I make a video like this, I download the video, then I upload it to YouTube. I also upload it to my Vimeo channel. Uh, all the videos on my Vimeo are private and you can only stream them on my website. So th that means that I'm just protecting all my my content so that I'm not relying upon YouTube, not relying upon any of the podcasts. So all of my audios and videos on my website are all on there, uh, saved forever to download for free. And the Vimeo podcast, uh, the Vimeo channel, YouTube, um, video channel, I upload the videos there and uh, I have to pay for that service. But it's, you know, I've got all my videos on there and they're all set to private. So I'm giving you inside information into the wonderful world of this Christopher Peter Cherry, hi. And Carrie Joan McGrath, hi. Uh, hope, is it McGrath, McGrath? Isn't it strange, because I've been on here on Facebook for 10 years, but I've had this uh, YouTube channel, 10, maybe 11 years, about 10 years, 
maybe 11. And there's been times I've had contact with some people and other times when I've had no contact and maybe but there's some names that really jump out at me that I've uh, seen their posts but not for quite a while because I think Facebook's changed quite a lot over the years as I'm sure anyone would agree that's spent time on it and there was a time when it seemed to be a bit easier to follow what other people were doing uh, now I, I don't even seem to get the the podcast I don't not the podcast I don't get the posts from people uh, to look at so plus I've got too many people on my page to kind of follow really I'm not showing off it's just uh, I am really so John Kelly hi John Kelly it says that you reacted to my video something came up on my screen um, but I don't know so if anyone likes what I'm doing and likes a video please you know feel free to click the like button so that I can you know pretend that I've got fans Kirsty type of stuff yeah. So I'm just reading a, some Facebook pages, uh, pages, posts. So, so a look. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm just waiting to see if anyone's John. Have you clicked the like button yet? I'm just having a look if it shows it on the uh, iPhone. Oh, God, I'm not sure. I hope the sounds okay. Uh, I hope Sebastian comes on. So what? Oh, there you go. Hello, Sebastian. Hello, Jason. Greetings from West Cork Island. Hi, John. Uh, John says, I like this live stream. Thank you. It's, uh, it's something for people to just, I suppose, instead of me just talking to myself, which is what I normally do, uh, when I make the live, when I make the let me boy to sleep sessions, I suppose when I'm live, there's a little bit of an interaction. So it's still boring, but it's you know it's purposely so. I've got um, let's have a look. I've got a Cassie Carter. Hello, Cassie Carter. So I'm just wondering how many of you have liked my video. So you've, John's liked it. I'm just looking. It's kind of strange because I'm looking at the, because I've got it on my um, page. Um, I've got the, the Facebook page actually up on my laptop. The laptop that you can see. Do you see, you see that big round mark? That's, this is now my official um, eating plate, my, my plate holder. I put my plate on there when I'm eating. So Cassie Carter says, morning Jason, I just popped in to say hey. Well, hey back at you, Cassie Carter. I know it's uh, probably morning time for you, so you're probably not wanting to go to sleep just yet. Sebastian says it wouldn't be boring if you guessed it you know yeah I sp if if I started having well the, the two the problem with um, having a guest on the let me bore you to sleep sessions is it would no longer be a let me bore you to sleep whoever I was talking to then it'd be uh, potentially a kind of a stimulating session 
which is not really what it's aimed at. Um, but the other thing is, because I've got this microphone plugged into the iPhone, I can't actually hear anything. So even if you did come on and talk and your picture was on there, I wouldn't be able to hear anything. So I wouldn't actually be able to have a conversation with you. So I suppose my question is, do the, I wonder if the lightning sockets in the iPhone have like a double thing where you can have, I don't know, there must be a way around it. Uh, see, Sebastian says Fiona isn't here anyhow. She enjoyed us both together. Yeah, I think Fiona is on holiday, I do believe, traveling somewhere. Um, so yeah, she's, uh, but that, that'd be a, a different type of video, I guess, really, wouldn't it? Not really these boring things that we're doing. Uh, Sebastian says, now I didn't ask particularly, go on with your monologue. Well, thank you for your permission. I shall, I shall continue with my stuff. But you're welcome to chat anyway, because I can still talk to each other and say hello. And, you know, because as I was saying before you, um, joined us Sebastian I was saying that these um, live let me bore you to sleep sessions are a lot different from the ones where I'm just talking to myself because you know I do sort of interact a bit John says I've got music rehearsals in the morning and the day the damn anxiety okay so you trying to keep, can you hear the sound of this laptop? It's so loud. I you can tell when once it cuts off, there's a big difference in sound, isn't there? keeps um, turning itself off for some reason. So if I miss anyone's messages, I do apologize it's because the telephone screen is so small that I just about read it from here because the, the phone's the other side of the table. So yeah, so I'm just, uh, I can't, ooh. It's not supposed to be poking through. My T-shirt. So yeah, the, the, the live ones, a little bit more into, well, it's interaction because the pre-recorded let me boy to sleep there isn't really you know there isn't any interaction because it's just me talking but you know these ones are kind of st still the intention is to be bored um, and you know only watch or listen to this when you can safely close your eyes and I've been thinking I've been looking at YouTube videos. I thought I'd check out YouTube because Sebastian mentioned it earlier in the day, and I thought well, I'll check this. Uh, I'll check this thing out. It looks might be interesting. So I went to YouTube, and you know I thought it was Y double O, but it's Y O U Tube T U B E. So yes, yeah, it was yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff on there. So I thought I'd check out the hypnosis stuff. And I 
just be looking at the videos because I've made videos in the past, but I've made hundreds, but I've made videos where there's been like pictures and like, moving images and things like that. And um, I wanted to try and think of a way of making them a bit better. So I've been looking at some of the more professional people that are making more professional videos. And come up, with, come up with a few ideas, but I'm not sure. The thing is, when you're listening to my stuff, I'm guessing, apart from maybe if it's live, but if you're just watching it on YouTube, you're gonna be having your eyes closed. I mean, if you're watching this and looking at me, then, hmm. So John says, any plans for Christmas, Jason, and streaming-wise too? Vera's joined, hello Vera. Um, John, Christmas is uh, just the same as any other year, really. I'll, I'll be here with Andre. Um, and just let you know only if you do write any messages make them fairly short because otherwise I can't read the whole thing um, and also don't write anything that I can't repeat because it's a relaxation session it's a sort of sleep session Sebastian is I'm not sure what you want about there so um, So uh, I'll perhaps read that later after the session finishes. So Christmas, I'll be here. Yeah, I'll just be, it's, it's kind of a, oh, Sebastian says he'll be seeing a real opera on New Year's Eve. Wow, I haven't seen an opera since I was a child. It's a long time. I've seen them on television, but I mean, like in person. I went to a pantomime as an adult. So I think I saw them when I was a child as well. Because I was living in a children's home for a few years and they used to take us to because I was living in South End, Nazareth House Children's Home, run by Catholic nuns. And we used to go to the, uh, the, the pier, because it's got a big pier, it's got a, it used to be the biggest pier in the world, I think, at some point. And they used to have lots of shows and stuff, so I used to go there. I imagine we used to get in for free, because we were, little nut well we weren't little nuns but we were uh with with the nuns <laughs> we weren't dressed um up or anything as nuns that would be weird we just dressed as normal not normal but just dressed like with clothes on and stuff um we didn't have like you know we weren't holding badges with orphan on it or anything it was just dressed as regular children. So, yeah, I've, I used to go, I remember once I went to see Jack and the Beanstalk and I fell in love with Jack that was played by a girl. And I don't know why, I must have been fairly close to the action so I must have been fairly close to the stage. But I did, I, I kind of, I remember I had a real crush on Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk in that uh, pantomime or play or whatever it was. Another thing I saw was, is it Black Swan, I think? I think I saw Black Swan as, not Black What's the thing with the swans? Yeah, I think I saw something like that. Maybe 
I was going to say maybe the Nutcracker, but I was actually in a play at school called The Nutcracker. And me and my friend, Dean, we were just playing kids. And we, we were kids, so it was quite an easy job, really. But we were, we were just there on the set, on the stage, and we started laughing. Oh, Sebastian says Swan Lake, oh, okay. We started laughing and we just couldn't stop laughing. And just, and the fact, you know, that we were supposed to be serious because there was all these people, parents and everything was out in the audience watching. It just made us laugh even more. Yeah, that was fun. I think I got banned. I think I did get banned. I wasn't allowed back on stage after that. Um, so John, other than just being here, as you're probably aware, I'm not, I've not really been great at planning the live events. And if I did something live, um, like Christmas, I don't know what it would be because I like to do the let me bore you to sleep. I like to do something that's, there's a reason behind it, if that makes sense. Sebastian says, oh, I didn't get to read Sebastian's message, sorry, there's another message come up from Susan Curta. Hello, your podcasts have put me to sleep. Had insomnia before you. Thank you, Susan. That's really kind of you to say so. I'm glad, not glad that you had insomnia, but I'm glad that um, I was able to put you to sleep. I suppose it sounds like a weird sentence, doesn't it? Susan, I'm glad I put you to sleep. What, what is, which ones did you listen to? Or do you listen to, Susan? If you don't mind me asking. So it's always nice to have a little bit of feedback as to just if I'm going in the right direction or do you, do you know what I mean? If I'm sort of... The reason I say that is that I was online looking at some videos on YouTube and there was this YouTube video and it basically all it said is um, watching this video will give you hallucinations. I don't want hallucinations. I don't know why anyone would. But um, John Kelly said, are you looking at, I'm, are you looking at I'm a celebrity, get me out of here? No, I'm not. What time are you hitting the sack tonight? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just gonna, I don't know what time it is now. It's about six or seven. I'm just, I'll be, I'll do this until, I'll probably be talking here for, a, um, for about half an hour or, mm. Maybe another hour. Uh, Susan says, all of the let me boy to sleep, also the one you did with the instrument, I think, called a metronome. Ah, oh, I'm gonna click the... Yeah, I like that metronome one. Um, it's uh, I can't even remember if many people listen to it I don't know but I quite like that I should tell you why I like it is because I'm listening to it myself while I'm doing the recording although I can't do that with this microphone because I can't hear anything. 
um, but I was using I guess I was just using the normal headphones and stuff let's see if Andre wants to come and say hello Andre can't really shout at him it wouldn't fit in with the boring thing um, but what I liked about the metronome session is I found that I was pacing my words with the tick 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 you know so I was pacing what I was saying and so that was quite cool and I found it really helped me Susan says oh John says it's seven o'clock now thank you Susan says I have never seen a live session as I'm in Toronto and it's the afternoon here and I was checking Facebook so this is a, a fluke nice to say hello thank you hi to you as well um, I always upload the live ones so they go they're uploaded automatically on Facebook when the, the thing's finished but I upload to YouTube I also upload to um, my website jasonnewland.com so you can download all of my sessions I've got over 800 not 800 let me boy to sleep but 61 now including this you can download the video you can download the audio or you can stream the audio or you can stream the video on that on my website so everything's available and also upload all the audios that I do to SoundCloud and Spreaker those podcasts and then via there they are shared to iTunes iHeartRadio and Spotify and uh, lots of other pod um, podcast grabbers that kind of grab stuff from my tunes so I'm not on Google Play yet or Google Music but because that's not available in my country but when it is so I guess I'll be on there as well yeah that's it that's a big long sentence. I'm glad that the, the Let Me Boy You To Sleep is, is useful. That's really nice to hear. Uh, okay, Sebastian's going regarding listening to Queen. Yeah, it's uh, Queen, it's a, uh, because Queen got a new, uh, there's a film out, isn't there? And, uh, I was never a like, big fan of Queen. I liked their songs. I wasn't, you know, I think probably my favorite, the soundtrack to Flash Gordon. Absolutely loved that. But then that was probably more to do with the film, but I loved the soundtrack as well. It's just everything to do with Flash Gordon I loved. Susan says, must run off now, but we'll listen to this tonight. Thanks again. Okay, thanks Susan, and I appreciate you uh, participating and also sort of let me know that what I'm doing is useful, because I don't, it might seem strange, I know that I spend quite a lot of time talking about nothing, seemingly, on these sessions. I also don't want to do it for no reason, if that makes sense. So thank you. Um, Sebastian, I'm really enjoying them. Very good and clever music. Yeah, I've not I've not seen the film. I, I remember a while ago, Sasha, Sasha, whatever her name is, uh, was going to be potentially playing Freddie Mercury. You know, Bor Borak, Borak, is it? Or, Sasha something Cohen, a comedian and actor. And the thing is, he looks like him already before he even starts, apart from 
maybe needs to change a little bit but I don't know it's uh, I've got I know someone that watched it and they loved it absolutely loved the film they said that it was really emotional so I haven't done any f recordings since it's been a few days Sasha Baron Cohen yeah it's been a few days and no particular interest and reason why I've just been uh, really I've been focusing on promoting my podcasts and sharing them and it get and it's worked I'm getting a lot more listeners and downloads than I was uh, you know two weeks ago so it's it's been it's been worth putting the effort in to do that it's very time consuming it's very it just seems to take forever it's never done the website's never finished I've still got images I need to change over still things I need to change on the website and I still want to be creating new content um, as well so it's it's a balance I suppose Sebastian saying something All right, so session Sasha Baron Cohen didn't want to didn't want to do the film. Well, I think it's been quite successful. <sighs> oh yeah, I was. Uh, what was I going to talk? I'm going to America next year. I'm coming to America as Eddie Murphy would say and uh, just listening to Andre probably be can you hear that in the background it'll probably be uh, sort of maybe 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 may be may talking about May Tuesday we've got the old Brexit vote but hey let's not talk about that so I was thinking about what to do if I did ever come to America what would I like to do where would I like to go what what would be I suppose I suppose in some ways what would be my fantasy in a sense of what would be the perfect trip the perfect visit and I would like to visit Phoenix Arizona and visit the I think there's like a museum uh, dedicated to Milton Erickson, who is the probably the most uh, famous hypnotist that ever lived, pretty much. I suppose other than Mesmer himself, but that's uh, but Milton H. Erickson was uh, an absolute legend. So I'd like to go and visit maybe even meet some of his family I don't know just because there's an institute out there uh, Milton Erickson Institute for Hypnosis where they do training and just it's sort of like one of my little dreams I'd like to go out there and where else would I like to go 
I suppose it's the obvious kind of places, you know, like to New York, that would be cool. Um, I'd like to go to Boston where Cheers, the, the pub, the Cheers was based on. So that would be cool. What else? I suppose maybe Hollywood. Um, maybe. What other places are there in America? Hi Bonnie, thanks for joining. Um, Sebastian says, tell us about Andre's uncle. He's just, he, he, he's a polecat. Uh, pretty much, you know, Andre's a ferret, he's a polecat. They're pretty much the same species, but one's a bit wilder than the other. So Andre's less wild uh, than uh, his uncle. But his uncle is very elderly now. And he's not, um, he cannot, yeah, he's just elderly. So him and Andre don't really get on. But they're learning over the last few days to um, put up with each other. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I'm going to come into the room and see them cuddling each other. That's my little dream. I'd be saying if I do, I'll get a picture of that. So look, and where, oh yes, Sebastian says, and where Andy lives. So yeah, well, if I go to America, I'll be going to Massachusetts, which is in Boston, isn't it, near Boston. So if Andy, it'd be quite cool to meet up, go and go for dinner or something. Um, but that'd be up to her. I've not really spoken to her about it. But that'd be cool. John says, me to Jason, New York. Yeah, New York. I know, I mean, some people go to New York for the weekend, don't they, from England. So, which, uh, my brother did that. He just went over there and just stayed for the day and then came back the next day. But that's, that's a lot of traveling, that's a lot of, uh, I don't know, I like to do things for a reason. And I said that earlier as well. I'd like to have a point to what I'm doing. Even if it doesn't seem like there's a point to others, for me, there needs to be a point to it. So when I'm sitting in my big black squeaky chair over there, and I'm laying back and the TV's turned off, there's no music, there's no sound, and it's just me sit, laying there or sitting down backwards, I'm not sitting backwards, I'm sitting on my back um, with my eyes closed. It's like a meditation slash self-hypnosis uh, slash mindfulness, whatever you want to call it. So there's a reason for why I'm doing those things. I need to have a reason. So I'll be going to America for a reason. And I won't disclose that yet because it's not been sort of agreed officially what uh, the uh, timetable will be. But you know what, I've been thinking how cool it would be if I could get something organized where those people in America that like what I do, that maybe have been following me for many years, would like to come and sort of meet me. So it's like a meet and greet kind of thing and maybe do a, a live relaxation session or something like that, you know? So 
just like live in concert. But I don't know how to go about that, really. Sebastian's like to go to Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco. So you just like to basically go to all the states, really, it sounds. Where would I like to go? Yeah, I've got no... I'd like to go to Canada as well. I thought, you know, it'd be quite nice to, while being in that part of the world, to go to Canada and Mexico. Just to... But I suppose my worry is if I did go to Mexico, I might not be allowed back into America. I don't know. So... And I'm not sure how all the visas work as far as being allowed to leave America and go to Canada or Mexico. Or, but that seems like it'd be quite a good opportunity to see three countries, maybe not see the whole of the countries, but to visit three different countries in quite a short period. Because I don't know yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So if there's anyone watching this, listening to this, after, you know, it's been uploaded and published or whatever, if you would be interested in coming and visiting me and meeting me or whatever, getting to find out what I smell like <laughs> I don't know because <laughs> you don't know from the video do you I could be like proper pongy but um, I think I'm alright if you wanted to see me in person then maybe even have a session like a, a group session a group I've got to reword that a group relaxation thing then maybe let me know or post, you know, post a comment on here and we're possibly going to be doing maybe some relaxation sessions for some students possibly in Massachusetts. So, uh, I do wonder, Sebastian, what is public Nuan Newlandering? I'm just referring to a message that's just been posted from Sebastian Kainikos. found a nice receipt here oh just from the garage so let me think I suppose Texas would be a place because I used to watch Dallas on telly and seeing all the ranches and just how massive all that land massive land maybe go and meet you know I don't know What's a sightseeing thing in America? I suppose the Empire State Building. You got um, I'm trying to think. So I know in Australia you got the Sydney Opera House. Paris, you got the Pat the Tower of Pizza. I think. You've got Rome, you've got the 
the Pope. I don't know, in America is, yeah, I suppose the White House. Um, Malibu. Miami. Yeah, I used to watch Miami Vice. So maybe go to Miami. And what's that? Oh, what's that island that's American but it's not? Um, Hawaii. Maybe go to Hawaii. Maybe not on the trip, but I'm just saying it. Somewhere to go. John says, I really appreciate the time for you doing live streaming. Nice to hear you talking. Thank you. It's uh, I think I'd probably do more if I had more people watching when I did it live. Pro probably. But one of the benefits of doing it live is there's less for me to do at the end. I can just, it's uploaded naturally and uh, you know, if I, if I record myself on a video, it sometimes takes hours to upload to YouTube. I'm talking hours and hours and hours. Um, sometimes, sometimes it's quite quick, but it's you know the it's not this. It takes a bit too long, which means I can't do anything else with the phone while that's going on. You know, so we'll just see. I'm hoping to to have a a decent iPad at some point, which then means I'm going to be able to sort of sync the iPad, the iPhone, and maybe do a bit more with the iPad that I do with the iPhone, perhaps even video stuff, because I would like to also potentially 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 look to do some uh, therapy or some counseling with people like you know maybe not I don't know maybe John says yeah uploading it's because really with the internet with the broadband uh, Wi-Fi internet stuff they focus more on downloading that seems to be more the priority and they focus on download speed upload speed doesn't seem to be uh, as important to the broadband suppliers so I think my download speed is about 35 megabytes a second, roughly. Uh, still, it's not great, but it's, it's a lot better than it used to be. Um, upload speed, it's probably maybe eight megabytes a second, maybe nine maybe seven, you know, so that's, you think that's, um, if I've got a video which is two gigabytes, to upload that, that's a lot of seconds, many, many, many seconds. So, and even downloading, 
the video from Facebook once it's you know uploaded and stuff like that. To download that onto my laptop can take a good 10, 15, 20 minutes sometimes. So it really just depends on, it can depend on what time of the day it is because, because I'm up quite often, I'm up fairly late. So when America wake up or when they're perhaps most active, the internet speed slows down here which is, I don't know, it's not great for me because that's when I'm doing a lot of my, maybe doing a lot of my work, maybe uploading stuff, but in the past, I mean, I haven't, uh, I haven't needed to upload lots of stuff for a while. Just since, uh, really, the only, well, recently I did with the podcasts, but, that's pretty much done now. Uh, so Sebastian says, I have 50 megabytes down. I have 50 megabytes. You get five about you five megabytes a second. No, you wouldn't get. You get more than five megabytes a second. That's you need. I think at least five megabytes to stream uh, Netflix. I think they recommend recommend at least at least five or six megabytes a second. So I'm not quite sure. So megabytes is per second. So if you're getting 10 megabytes a second, or if you get one megabyte a second, it means you're getting 60 megabytes a minute. So 10 megabytes would be 600 megabytes a minute. Oh, I'm confusing myself now. Yeah, so if you've got, so I've got 35 megabytes and I'm downloading something that's 100 megabytes. It shouldn't take more than maybe four or five seconds to download. But in reality, it does sometimes take longer than that. But I don't need things to download instantly. But I suppose I'd like a bit more consistent consistency with knowing, you know, if it's 35 megabytes a second, then let it be that. Or if it's 90 megabytes a second, then cool. You know, just as long as I know where I am, um, then I'd know that if I had a, a, t a two gigabyte file, it's going to take 25 minutes to download. Instead of like an hour and a half on my pre you know, present one. Ten megabytes would be a hundred megabyte connection glass for it goes uh, so you you're being a little bit too technical there I'm afraid we we don't get too much into all that stuff it's just uh, what our download speed is and what the upload speed is so my download speed 
should be about 36 megabytes a second and my upload speed should be about about 10 megabytes a second um, and for YouTube as you're right for YouTube is the upload is more important like that's for YouTube uh, content developers people that produce videos those that watch videos as long as you've got a standard speed even the lowest speed should be fine with YouTube but you need to be you need to have at least probably five five megabytes a second to watch a YouTube video without it uh, buffering So I've got much better upload than they've got, got through. Yeah, I've had less, much less in the past. So I'm on fiber broadband and uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not, you know, it's, it's a lot better than it used to be. I mean, think back. Uh, five six ten years I mean broadband was it was great but it was still slow compared to now and the thing is it doesn't matter how fast the broadband is it's more to do with the traffic that's all being used so you can have a 200 mile an hour car but if you're stuck in a stuck behind a car that's going 40 miles an hour it's not a lot you can do you know it seems to be that was the whole thing about the broadband being like a big motorway but now more people have got it so the motorways now pull up that's me being technical quite like the idea of going with Virgin because Virgin used their own fiber optic cables they don't rely on BT which all of the other companies do in my country but Virgin used their own uh, so it's supposed to be well apparently it's a lot quicker but it's also more expensive than the one I've got. I have to kind of go for the cheapest option, but one that's also useful as well. I mean, I didn't go for the cheapest option because otherwise I'd be getting a lot less and they'd be capped, you know, the amount of um, gigabytes that I could use in a month would be limited to a certain amount but mine's unlimited so it's uh, it's definitely worth having I was actually gonna stop with the company I was with I was, I was gonna stop like cancel them when the contract finished and they said they, they asked me do you want to know how much usage you've had this month I said oh, alright then and I'd had something like uh, I think 180 gigabytes worth of usage just in the last month this was you know, a few months back I mean that might have been due to me uploading a lot of videos uh, to YouTube and Vimeo and stuff like that because that does take up a lot of well just just the mp3s alone my mp3s are I think about 20 gigabytes worth of space just for the mp3s videos that's that's a different league altogether some of the videos uh, like three four gigabytes each 
most are less but the, you know it's still that's a lot a lot of uh, a lot of space Yeah, there was a time, wasn't there? Where you'd you have to pay. I can't remember what it was. When I first got the internet, like bought my own, paid for my own internet, it was back in probably 1999, probably. And I don't recall having to pay extra for usage, I don't recall. It might well have been, but I don't remember that. And I pretty much tried to have unlimited whenever I could over the years. But then with dial-up, everything was so slow. Uh, that a lot of it didn't take up a lot of data. Well, it probably did at that time actually, but there was less, um, you know, there was no YouTube, there's no Facebook, there's no videos really to download. There's, so a lot of it was just text on a page, HTML, just, you know, a few graphics, a few like flashing graphics, if you remember back in the, that time. John says I've got three kids that don't live with me uh, I'm just trying to see if I can click on the more bit to see what you said yeah Christmas can be an unusual time there's, a, there's quite a lot of pressure isn't there to be a certain way at Christmas but I quite like the build up to Christmas. Quite like the you know I can't comment on every comment I get due to the fact that, you know, the kind of session that this is um being a sort of a boring, sleepy session. But uh yeah, Christmas is I don't really celebrate it, if I'm honest. I I see family for like one one day for like maybe, maybe it's usually like a couple of weeks before Christmas have like a family get together or something. And I come Christmas I've got Andre with me and just chill out I try and just relax and make a few phone calls and John I think I probably will come on here maybe I will make a, a Christmas a Christmas video maybe like Christmas live broadcast my live broadcast maybe maybe I will but yeah I don't I don't you know I'm, I'm used to I mean, I've, I'm never alone because I've got Andre with me but you know I'm not I don't have a girlfriend and I've not really I don't have much like company or anything I don't really see many people but I don't mind that it's it's uh I'm okay with that actually. I'll tell you what I do like to do Christmas. I like to go. So wherever I'm living, at the moment I'm living here and but I've lived in lots and lots of different places over the years. I like to go to the busiest road and just stand in the road and twirl around because there's no traffic, nobody to be seen it's great obviously I don't twirl around if there's cars coming but 
there's something about going to like a main road when it's because I've got one here and we've all I suppose we've all got a main a road near where we live maybe that it's just traffic constantly not all the time maybe so I like to do that and sometimes sometimes I do a bit of tap dancing So I'd, yeah, I just um, watch a bit of telly. I think you could do something that you enjoy doing every day. Um, even if it's just for a short period, whether it's writing a book, doing a jigsaw puzzle, um, whatever it is, like this, the list is endless. And we've all got our own things that we enjoy. Um, I like talking about nothing for an hour and you know, making these things and working on the website and stuff like that. It's just a case of looking after, looking after ourselves, and remembering that it's just for one day, or two days if you include Boxing Day, and then everything kind of goes back to how it was. And then you've got New Year's Eve. Usually people still working, and then you've got New Year's Day, and a lot of people, maybe shops and stuff, have the day off, and everything goes back to normal again. So it's, you know, it's just a couple of days. Yeah. Just heard one of my neighbours sneezing. That's proper loud, proper loud sneeze. Really loud. <laughs> See, yeah, I don't know how long I've been talking on here for. I get a little bit lost of the time when I'm talking and there's people online talking to me or leaving a few comments and I can't. I can't reply to all the comments because, as I said earlier, some of them are not, they don't fit in with uh, the let me bore you to sleep theme, as it were. But I do appreciate, you know, the contribution and I do, I am acknowledging, I'm acknowledging that I've read what's been written and I do sort of. I hope that that makes sense to those that have posted something and maybe I haven't directly addressed what has been uh, written and commented but you know it doesn't because this isn't just a sort of a random chat if you know what I mean it's uh, more based for people that like to doze off listening to my super exciting voice. So John Kelly says, you're on one hour. So yeah, that means it's time to bring this to an end. I think an hour is, I try and uh, aim my sessions for an hour each. The or, you know, to let me bore you to sleep ones. But um, other sessions, I don't know, depends. I've got more of a tendency to do longer sessions. 
nowadays I very rarely do short sessions I went through a period when I used to do like 10 minute sessions and I do a video every day and it was 10 minutes long and and although they were I think the content was pretty good in some of those uh, I'm not really necessarily a I'm not a pamphlet as it were you know I'm, I'm kind of a big long boring book it's a I don't get to the point perhaps maybe not perhaps I just don't seem to get to the point but then in these let me bore you to sleep sessions there is no particular point other than just relaxing and letting go and not getting caught up in thoughts that may get in the way of you getting in touch with that that safe place you know that that part of you where you can go to uh, you just feel good for no good reason you just feel calm and relaxed and safe and you can literally look out on the world and not be affected by it that's kind of what these things that I'm doing here now is about it's about allowing yourself to just let go and on that note I'm going to let go I'm going to go and do something else. Bye.